Welcome to part 2 of Neural Networks in CUDA from scratch. In the previous video we implemented the activation layer for our neural network, which means getting a bunch of set values where set is the weight at some of the inputs and computing the activation for all these set values at once. Today we are going to have a look on how to compute the weighted sum. If you use frameworks like PyTorch, you'll notice a linear layer, or you might recognize it by the name of matrix.product. Let's take a look at how we could implement this linear layer in CUDA with many threads. In the picture you can see how we will distribute the work among the threads. We use one thread for each neuron. Each thread computes the weighted sum of its input. So to be clear, let's write this as a mathematical formula and clarify the notation we will be using. We are going to use the following notation w for the weight, lower index n for the neuron number in the next layer, lower index p for the neuron number in the previous layer. Therefore we can write the formula for thread 1 as weight 1 1 times x1, weight 1 2 times x2, weight 1 3 times x3, plus weight 1 4 times x4 plus the bias. So for thread 2 we will compute the set value for output neuron number 2 and therefore we have to use all the weights which belong to set 2 instead of set 1. This gives us the weighted sum. And after that we can compute the activation function just like we did in the previous video. Alright, let's code the CUDA kernel. We are going to define the CUDA function signature the following way. We again prepend it with underscore underscore global to tell the compiler it's going to be code which runs on the graphics card instead of the CPU. We need the following input to our function. First a float pointer to our weights then we need a float pointer to our biases and a float pointer to our inputs. Then we also need some variables where we can output the values we compute. Therefore we are going to define a float pointer for the set values and a float pointer for the activation values. Additionally we need to know how many output neurons we have and how many input neurons. Then for each outgoing neuron we loop over every incoming neuron and multiply it by the weights. After that we have our weighted sum. Now we add the bias, so we have our final set value. The only thing left now is to apply the activation function and we are done. So now that we have taken care of the CUDA kernel, we need to take care of the rest of the program. However, this should be pretty easy since we can basically just copy what we did in a previous video. We need to initialize some buffers on the CPUs to store the weights, inputs, biases, set values and activation values. Since every input neuron is connected to every output neuron via a weight, we need to multiply the number of input neurons with the number of output neurons in order to reach the number of weights. Then we need to request the same amount of memory on the GPU for our CUDA kernel. 
After that, we transfer the input, the weights and the biases to the GPU. Then we run our CUDA kernel and compute the weighted sum and activation values. After we are done, we transfer back the activation values and set values from the GPU back to the CPU. And finally, we print the results. And as we can see, it calculated the set values and the activation values. In order to be sure that our CUDA kernel is working correctly, I wrote a small Python script which takes the same weights and biases and inputs as our uh, CUDA program and computes the neural activations with NumPy. First we define the weights, the bias and the inputs. This is basically just copied from the C++ code. And after that we reshape them so they're in the appropriate matrix form. So first we reshape the weights into a 3 by 4 matrix. Then we reshape the inputs. And after that we reshape the biases. And then we calculate the activations. And as we can see, we get the same results. Alright, that's it for this video. So as a quick summary. We had a neural network with 4 input neurons and 3 output neurons. We wrote a CUDA kernel where we start a thread for each output neuron. Each thread takes the associated inputs and weights of its assigned output neuron and calculates the activation. In the next video we will extend the code we have written today to be able to handle multiple layers. Thanks for watching.